Hi guys, we are going to be talking about something that is extremely, extremely important in every single one of our businesses. I don't care who you are, this is something that you absolutely need to do, something you need to know in order to succeed in this business. Now, I'm sure that you guys probably already know exactly what I'm going to be talking about by the title of this video, so we'll get right into it. Um, we are going to be talking about social media and the do's and the don'ts of it. Now, I'm not going to come out straight up and tell you that I am a social media expert, but it is something that I have always been pretty good at, and I can blame that on my full-time job as a reporter that I'm always engaged on social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything. So I kind of already had a leg up in this area when I started coaching, but it's something that I actually had to really adjust to in the way that I presented myself. I couldn't be reporter Kelsey and report facts. I actually had to be Kelsey and talk about me and talk about this business and and how it's changed my life and how it's changing other people's lives. But there's a lot of things that I notice from other people, um, not, maybe not Beachbody coaches, but other people that you, you'll kind of notice on social media that maybe they kind of shouldn't be doing, maybe things that you'll watch other coaches and be like, wow, that was awesome. So I was um, deciding, I was in a slump in this business. I was like, you know what, I need to do some training and try to figure out some ways to, to improve. So what I did is I went into our coach online office and I started just reading through all of the trainings. And I said, you know what, I need to, there's something that I'm missing. Why am I struggling in this business? There's something that I'm missing. And I came across this um, document called the eight, eight Social Media Do's and Don'ts. And it literally was like, okay, let's, let's talk about this today. And I, after everything that I've learned, I want to pass it on to you. So as a coach, I'm sure many of you know this, social media can be your greatest friend or your worst enemy. So there's a couple of things that we have to keep in mind as we're posting. Um, you want to be you. I mean, this, is, this isn't this is something that you, you don't want to be anybody else. You want people to be re, um, able to relate to you. So we'll start with a couple of things. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. The first thing to do is um, to post often. Now you don't want to be staying there posting every hour on the dot, but you need to be posting, I would say, between three to four times a day. And when I'm saying post three to four times a day, that does absolutely not mean put up a picture of Autumn Calabres um, looking all sweaty in the 21 day fix saying purchase a challenge pack from me. That does not mean putting up Sean T and saying, okay, um, 25 minutes a day, um, $180 for this challenge pack or $205 for this challenge pack. Um, buy it from me. That is not what it means by sharing Beachbody products. It does not mean taking a picture of Shakeology and just posting up a picture of it. No one's going to relate to that. You have to think of things that people are going to relate to. Now, think for instance, um, if you want to post a picture of something about the 21 day fix, post your results. Uh, how did this program help you? Uh, post a quote that somebody said. Did you ever get a text message from one of your challengers that said something like, thank you so much for introducing this to me. I'm down eight pounds and seven inches. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Have you ever gotten something like that? You can even take their name out of it and just post that. Um, post a picture of the containers, say, or post a picture of a meal with the containers. Obviously, you can see right there that that's how people are going to be able to relate to you. Same thing with T25. Maybe put up a picture of you or, or a video of you doing some of the moves from T25. That's how people are going to be able to see what these products are. Um, you don't want to, like I said, don't post every hour because people are just going to get annoyed with you. They honestly are. Um, they're going to probably unfriend you, unfollow you, or you're going to start developing haters, which it's okay to have haters. That means you're doing your job right, but you don't want to annoy people. So just don't post too much. Um... Show the things that are interesting about you. You don't have to post about Beachbody four times a day, and that's you, you don't want to, or you're like I said, you're gonna lose followers. P talk about you. What is it about you that is intriguing to somebody? Um, you can talk about health and fitness. You can talk about, you can post recipes. I post pictures of my dogs. I post pictures of me and my boyfriend, uh, family. The Steelers is a big part of my life. My school, the West Virginia University, as you can see. Um, Sports is a huge part of my life. Um, anything like that, even inspirational quotes. You want to find your brand. What is it? What are five things that can come to the top of your mind that you say this is this is it right here. This is what um, this is what I can do. Like what this is what describes me. 
Um, you can be funny. You can be posting photos from just some of the best parts of your day. You can kind of recruit people in a little way. Say what this business has done for you. Don't be afraid to get um, vulnerable. Talk to people about what's um, how something that happened in your life. Have you had knee surgery? How can you relate to people? Be interesting to people, and I swear on my on a Bible, and I'm a huge I'm very religious, but I swear on a Bible, people are going to come to you when they can relate to you, not when you're posting a picture of Autumn Calabrese or Tony Horton. They're going to come to you because they can relate to you. Um, you can repost anything from success stories. You can post, quick as I said, quotes. You can post your own personal accomplishments. Did you reach Diamond? Did you reach One Star? Post stuff about that. Um, Beachbody says it themselves. Do not post garbage. Um, don't be negative. Don't sit there and post about long, exhaustive rants about your day, how somebody cut you off and then you have a headache and you're super sick and you miss your workout and your day is just terrible. No one wants to hear about it. Sorry. I mean, unfortunately, no one wants to hear about your day. Those are the kind of people that if I scroll past on Facebook, I'm like, ugh, there's, there's that negative Nancy again. You don't want to be that negative Nancy. You need to be consistent. If you're talking about living a positive life, what does it say to the people when you post a negative rant? You know, it's just you have to be consistent about what you're saying. Um, I said it before, don't talk about blatant selling. Don't talk about buy, buy P90X from me for $160. Don't um, talk, you, you don't need to talk about the same thing every single day. Um, you have a challenge group coming up. Um, when you post it once, you don't need to post it two times a day. You don't have to post it the next day. You don't have to post it the day after that. If I have a challenge group coming up, I will probably post about it once every three, four days um, just to remind people. But I will never – you don't want to annoy people. People get it. People get you have a challenge group coming up. That's unfortunately the, um, the big thing that you need to keep your mind on. Um, one thing that we have talked about plenty of times that is extremely important that I stayed away from my first couple months of coaching and I shouldn't have is inviting. Invite, 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 invite. You are going to just invite. Don't be scared to reach out to people. Um, add people on Facebook. You should be adding three to four people a day on Facebook, expanding your network. Invite these people. Um, see, it's going to be Social media is actually the best invitation tool that you could ever use. It's right at your fingertips. You don't have to look somebody face to face. You can just talk. If somebody rejects you, you're not standing there to their face. But they want to know that you're serious. Make sure when you're inviting people that you are being serious. You want to help them. That's what this whole business is about is helping other people. Talk to them about how excited you are about um, your journey, how what this has done for you. And don't you don't have to say join by tomorrow and don't force them. Just invite them. Say, hey. Um, so and so I have a challenge group coming up and I know that you post a lot of stuff about running and working out and stuff like that. So I figured I would reach out to you and see if um, maybe this 21 day journey is something that you'd be interested in. I did that once and I've gotten th a ton of people to reach out to and uh, decide to do it. Um, what not to do on that same note, do not become a spam. Don't become, um, Kelsey the spam. Don't annoy people. Um, don't. Just make think of it like as a dating process. You can link, you can talk to them about everything, but you don't want to keep bothering them about it. So if you invite them, don't keep spamming them and ask following up with them every single day. They talk to you at it once. Um, they will. They they understand you're there and what you're doing. Just if you want to follow up, I would do it a week later. I wouldn't continue uh, bothering them every single day. Um. Just. The biggest thing is you need to be yourself. Um, sorry, I'm reading notes on the side of my page that I took. You want to be yourself. Um, show people that you are there for them. When someone leaves you a comment or sends you a tweet, make sure that you know that, make sure they know that you've seen it. Like their comments or respond to them back. The more that you interact with them, the more visible you are, the more people that are going to see um, your Facebook posts and your tweets. And that's hugely important. Facebook kind of rewards people from being extremely active. So your post will stay up longer, more people will see it. And then people see that you're seeing their comments and you're actually reading what they're saying. They're going to know, they're going to take you more seriously. Um, people want to be heard. That's the biggest thing. And it's, it's true. They want to know that you're actually, you're serious about what you say. You sit, you can post all things all day long, how you want to help somebody through their journey, but prove it. 
prove it. Show them that you're going to be there for their journey. If somebody comments that one of your challengers comments on your page and says, hey, I would like a recipe, message them and give them a recipe. You need to be there for them. You are their coach. Show them love. Um, talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. If somebody posts something like on your, someone's interested in the 21-day fix, message that person and talk to them one-on-one -on -one about it. Don't sit there and um, have a conversation on the comments page because you don't want, you want people to keep being able to approach you. Um, I hope some of these helped you. I know that a lot of it helped me. Again, like I said, this social media has never been one of my weak part points, but it's also always something that you can improve on. And that's what I'm continuously trying to do. So make the biggest things I want you to take away is be you. Don't be somebody else that you're not. Don't go into Lindsay Matway's page and steal one of her posts. Don't go into my page and steal one of my posts. Who are you? Who are you as a coach and how can people relate to you? That's what you need to think of. Social media is the key to this business. It is network marketing, guys. This is something that's huge. It's something that's going to continually grow. It's, you're going to grow in your business through social media. So if you have any questions, you can always feel free to email me to reach out. I'm always willing to talk. But this is something that's huge and something you definitely should take notes on and consider. So again, we will talk soon. Have a great rest of your day.